Alright, what's going on guys? It's Almond. Welcome back to another Call of Duty Modern Warfare video. In today's video, we're we'll going over the Season 6 trailer. I just want to give my ideal thoughts because I have some, I think, pros and cons after seeing this trailer. I feel like it might, this might hurt the game, it might make the game better, just certain scenarios and I want to talk about it and I'll explain why. But if you do enjoy this type of content, make sure you do leave a like on this video, make sure you do subscribe. Hopefully we can reach 600 subs or maybe even 1,000 one day and yeah. Let's get into it. So, the season six trailer was released uh, earlier today, the 28th, the day before to, uh, the 29th. Um, and I wanted to give my ideal thoughts on it. So, there's a bunch of stuff that goes in this trailer. We saw a bunch of skins, like a Halloween skins. We were also introduced into a little sneak peek at the zombies game mode, like a little tiny, um, like a little bit tiny, like five second clip. And then you can also see there's like nighttime game modes of Warzone because you can see people dropping in in certain parts of the trailer from the um, gunship and they're jump they're jumping out and you can see it's all nighttime and then also they introduced like they said like the the like the haunting event type of deal is gonna come October 20th and it makes sense why they chose the 20th because it's a day after the beta is done for um, uh, Cold War so after the that's like the day after the, like after everything's done for the beta and then when people are just waiting for the next Call of Duty so that's why they put it right after the beta so people have something like to jump into instantly which is a pretty smart play on their end so people don't get bored of Modern Warfare so that's a cool thing another thing that they add I saw for Warzone they buffed the trucks heavily I don't know if this is for plunder or if this is for actual Warzone but I feel like they're doing like a Fortnite play right now. And the reason why I'm saying that is I remember back in the day on Fortnite, they added that little stupid turret that people would put on in buildings or on their builds. And it's equivalent to that. And they basically put a turret on top of a truck. And this has been an idea in the community for a while. Because the whole point when they had the shield turret pickup thing, nobody liked the shield turret. And people are like, what's the real reason behind this? So, you know, they're like, wait, I got a better idea. Let's just put the shield turret on the truck. So, uh, these are basically armored trucks. I don't know if they're going to have less HP but or anything like that. Or these are going to be like rare type of vehicles. They're going to come in. Because it looked like they're, they like dropped in from the sky. Is this going to be a viable vehicle? We don't know anything about this. Um obviously by the time this video comes out i feel like a lot of people are going to know what's what's all the scenario like what's going on with season six but i just want to give my ideal thoughts based on the trailer so we saw the armored trucks um i this can be a pro and a con because pro like it could help you out in certain scenarios con meaning like that's literally broken you're gonna have to destroy it with a kill streak or someone can like literally i don't even know if a c4 can kill it because it looks like it's literally look like an armored vehicle from like gta or some shit so we'll see what happens with this um but all the variety of skins everyone saw like there's like uh like basically skeleton skins we saw a bunch of ghost related skins as well with the skulls so they're adding a bunch of halloween stuff as well i feel like this is going to be more of a uh viable type thing i don't think they're going to put halloween stuff specifically in the battle pass i mean if they do that's you know that's a good thing but i think that most of these halloween skins are going to be viable like that's what that's a smart it's a smart move on their end so i can't even hate um we saw a little bit of gameplay of the guns as well um saw the r700 i think that's the only gun that they really showed i didn't see of the any of the ar but the r700 i saw iskra using uh on one of the maps like it's a snowy type map uh, so we'll see so uh the r700 looks clean though it, i think it's going to be a marksman rifle from what it looks like because it doesn't have a sight it doesn't have a sniper scope specifically on it i think it's a base gun so it looks like a marksman rifle um so that's a cool thing on their end and then these maps um i have some you know judgmental things about these because i I, re I really thought we would have a high rise maybe mid-season update if not probably just not at all but that's just my thing but uh we did get the that one map from the tv station in warzone i don't i can't think of it at the moment but they basically turned that map into uh an actual map that you could play on call of duty on for multiplayer which was going to happen eventually because basically each part of the maps in warzone are essentially maps in multiplayer like downtown is a map in ground war for multiplayer um scrapyard is a map already in multiplayer ground war the whole like the whole thing is literally part so it makes sense that that little part is finally making its way to multiplayer towards the end and then also i think um a certain part of the map is going to be turning into a ground war map it's by the houses i don't know how to describe this it's literally by airport it's a little bit further of airport so i can understand that they've been just adding new maps to um ground war but um i don't know i feel like they should just make a particularly new map like just from the scratch but instead of just taking parts of warzone 
but um, if they want to go that route, they can definitely go that route. Uh, but map wise, I see some maps that are kind of like whatever, and some maps are good. Um, I understand them them adding gunfight maps, but I mean. I mean, I guess it makes sense. I mean, it's fair enough to all the player base because some people do play uh, gunfight, so it gives them an extra map. And then uh, multiplayer got two or three maps, I think, from what it looks like. So I'm I'm really interested in some of these maps. Um, just the one I'm not gonna really like that much is the COD 4 remastered map from TV Station. So I'm probably not gonna be playing that because there's so many cubbies and so many people are gonna be camping. So for sure, and I doubt shipment shoe house are gonna be in there because what they're probably gonna do is they're instead of the playlist being shipment shoe house or probably make a rotation of the new maps um so that's gonna be ass um but you know you can't really this is a new season so probably give it a few weeks or so they'll probably get shipment back but that's what i'm waiting for co-op is not gonna get an update um i feel like a lot of people do ask me about co-op because they're always wondering if co-op got anything new it's rare nowadays co-op doesn't get any love i mean it makes sense because no one really plays it so they're mainly focusing on the majority of the game of multiplayer and uh, Warzone. So makes sense on their part. But I mean, I, I would like to see a new mission here and there or like even update the missions a bit, something like that, or give us like veteran modes of the basic missions instead of us waiting every Tuesday. But is what it is. And I think that's about it from what, from what I saw. I mean, you guys let me know what you guys saw. And then also the train stations, I totally forgot about that. The train stations all over Warzone. I feel like a lot of people knew about this. And then I think pretty sure the wars, um, I think the stadium's going to get updated. A lot of people knew about this because they showed how Dallas won um, the basically the CDL champs are basically cdl champs and everyone saw how there's gonna be fireworks and stuff like that in warzone so eventually that's making its way to warzone we're gonna see all updated to dallas and then i feel like the top of the dome of, of uh stadium is gonna be fixed it's gonna look a little bit better and we just have to see so now i mean overall these train stations as well are gonna be a complete like i feel like it's gonna be a complete mosh pit type of deal these are i don't want to say the calm hot like drop zones or like where everyone would land i feel like it's more of going to be like a mid-game type of deal if someone's trying to like travel across the map and just going for kills i feel like it's going to change the whole meta and people are going to be camping those i feel like a lot of people are be camping those because it's like yeah hey, someone comes through you know easy kill so you, all you gotta do is wait so that's going to be annoying to some people so i'm probably not going to be trying to go in that area if i do play warzone um just stray away from that because i'd rather you know just take a car they're just adding more modes of transport it's it's like what apex did with the balloons it's basically something like that the balloons would take you to a certain area um wherever you want trains are doing the same thing uh the subway stations are going to take you wherever you want and then they also have that base train that runs all over the map so this is basically being a, this basically warzone has turned to a compilation of apex and a little bit of fortnite so makes sense and then fortnite's adding those vehicles from cod so it's like you know is what it is but that's my ideal intake on the season trailer you guys let me know in the comments what you guys think uh for sure by the time this comes out season six will already be here so you guys are gonna see the like actual stuff uh but i'm i'm honestly hyped for october because i want to see all the zombie stuff that they release so we just have to wait and see but yeah that's gonna be on my part make sure you do leave a like on this video make sure you do subscribe helps me as a content creator so hopefully we can reach 600 subs and also turn on those notifications so you guys aren't missing out any new content season six related especially i'm gonna try my best to reach one rank 155 before anyone else does and yeah i'll talk to you guys in my next video peace out guys